Stirring it around. You're right about the mushrooms reducing down. So you can see, yeah, they're yep. sort of shrinking down a bit. So Yum. chop this down nice and fine. That's going to go in. So when you go to the supermarket and you're looking for those sort of mushrooms, what do you look for? Just what I do just they call? Eat, yeah, uh, dried mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, so no, you can. Um, I mean, you can get fresh ones as well. You right. know, you can do you can do it all with fresh if you want. But then normally in the sort of um, you know, not in the veggie department, but in the in the sort of dries department. Okay. Uh, <laughs> dry. interna your international department. Um, you know, you get little packets of that. Or Asian uh, supermarkets are really good for this. Yeah, and they because you've got different brands of mushrooms in there, it gives a really nice flavour, doesn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. And the more the more mushrooms you put in, you know, the, the more flavour you're going to get. I've got a little knob of butter in there, and then lots of fresh thyme. Thyme and mushrooms, beautiful combination, you know, match made in heaven. Beautiful. So, roughly chop that. That's going to go in there now. And while we're doing this, just a quick question about your beef. Do you need that at room temperature? Do you take it out of the fridge first and let it rest for a while? Or do you leave it in the fridge until you're ready to use it? No, 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 that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, leave it out at room temperature because we've okay. got a big slab of beef now. Right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut down the centre. Yeah. Not all the way through, though, three quarters of the way through. And we'll just part it. And then as it when it parts, we're just going to slice and roll over. Okay. Okay. Wow. We'll do that on the other side. So you can make these smaller or larger or however you want. Right. And this look at that. Good. So we've got a nice flat piece of beef now. So we've given our uh, mushrooms a good season. Yeah. Uh, yep. I'll give them another one there, they? I feel like I want to try it now. It smells so good. I see, it, <laughs> it, it sort is. of ate and the stuffing. <laughs> You know, and that's and that's a, there's those uh, dried mushrooms, and mm. just make sure all your liquids off, you know, so it's okay. not swimming swimming in all the liquid. And then what we're going to do is just ideally let this cool down, yeah. and put this in the centre, uh, nice thin layer, and then we're going to roll it up. And I've got a little bit of string there. Okay. And we're going to tie it up. Nice. And then we're going to seal it off and get ready to roast it. Okay, so, so be generous with your mushrooms. Yeah, generous with the mushrooms, and this can all be done ahead of time, you know. Okay, great. So we will just roll it up. Look at that. Brilliant. And then we're just going to tie it, and make sure it all sits there. Fantastic. OK, I'll leave you to the tying. There's no special technique to that. Just tie it, isn't there? No, no, just tie it, just like Great. a pair of shoelaces. OK, there you go. Easy done. And we'll get the next steps to Mark's roast beef and his mushroom stuffing very soon. We are here in the Beko kitchen. Mark, you've tied that up well. Right. We are ready to go. Look at that. Beef sauce stuffed, really hot pan. So yep. new pan, get the oil hot. And now we want to sear it off. Woo! So it won't take long because it's you know it's really lean piece of meat. So yep. give it a season and keep okay. turning it nice and brown on all um, all sides. Yep. And then so we're not cooking it now at this point. We're just searing it, getting some flavour on there. So yeah, beautiful. That's it. Okay. And then we're going to pop it on a tray. I've got some shallots here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop those in the pan just to get a bit of colour. Okay. We're going to roast the Ooh. shallots. God, you are out of practice, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roast the shallots uh, all in the oven. So, so this is going to go in a hot mm. oven, about 180 degrees. And depending on the thickness and how you like your beef cooking, probably about 15 to 20 minutes, and then importantly, rest it okay, before great. you slice it. And then take the string off, obviously. Beautiful, that's it. And that's the sort of browning we're looking for? Yeah, yeah, really okay, nice um, caramelised browning. So flip it on the other side. And then once it's brown, we can pop it on the tray. Okay. We'll just check our shallots. So just getting a little bit of colour in there. They'll roast in the oven, so they'll be nice and sweet. All right, that's cool. That can come out now. Pop that on the tray. OK. <laughs> yeah, thanks, you. <laughs> <laughs> shallots go in there. Oh, so those shallots get a nice sort of caramelisation yeah, happening on them Yeah, just a little well. bit of colour here. Yeah. Right, now what we want to do is a little bit of flour in here. Yeah. You can stir that around. Mm -hmm. And this is going to make the sauce now. So this can go in the, the oven now. So you just um, put, put the flour in, stir it around, and you're getting all that sediment off the pan. Yeah. OK, so that's all the flavour from the beef. Brilliant. And then what we got? A bit of brandy, watch out. So a bit of brandy. Whoosh! Oh, that was, that was quite boring, actually, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And I've got a little bit of beef stock in there. Well, OK. And we're going to reduce it down. And remember the mushrooms, what we had before? Aye, this is working good. Keep some of the mushrooms. We're going to pop them on the tray as well for the beef. So they'll they'll roast nicely, give it a nice flavour. And all that stock as well in the mushrooms, what we've um, rehydrated them with, that goes in there, gives you a nice deep mushroom flavour. 
Oh, you're high right. heat. I can smell that yeah. straight away. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? And it reduce that down. We'll reduce it down by half. I've got some creme fraiche here, which we'll just finish it with. Oh, um, oh. Little knob of butter if you want to. You know, that's optional, but I can highly recommend it. Little bit of uh, whole grain mustard yeah. in there. And look at these green peppercorns in brine. Oh, brilliant. They go in there. Nice green peppercorn, creamy brandy sauce to go with your roasted um, mushroom stuff. Beef. That is going to be a brilliant sauce. I can just see it now. Can't wait to taste it. Things are looking great. So. Oh, we're going to put that in the oven, aren't we? How long for? <laughs> yeah, about 15, 20 minutes, 15, and then 20 rest minutes. it. OK, great. Thank you. Wasn't listening before, clearly, was I? <laughs> I'll keep an eye on this. We'll come back. We'll see the finished product before the end of the show. Thank you, Mark. This is brilliant. And if you want to make this at home for the perfect Sunday roast, the full recipe, of course, is at our website. Don't worry about the dog. Look at this. <laughs> it looks amazing. Nice, huh? It smells well. good, too. Yeah, can't wait to try it. What are you cooking on Monday? Right, something to remind you back of your holiday. Oh, a yes. creamy tart thick. Oh, he's the French dude there. Very well. Oh, la, la.